What's good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in today's video, I will continue to answer some further questions regarding your starter lock journey. Now, if you haven't yet seen the first part of this lock Q&A, definitely go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below to see the first part of this and then come right back to this one and we'll continue all right so let's get right into it okay so the next question i have here is i have very coarse 4c hair how long will it be before my hair locks all right so the locking process based off my personal experience usually starts from um like the three month mark okay so three months into your lock journey your hair will start to lock now this is not to say that your hair will look like locks but it will start to lock on the inside so for it to be fully locked um and you said you got very coarse forcey hair because i know that the course of the hair is is the um i guess not quicker i won't say the quicker it locks but I would say you can expect your hair to lock within the first year, right? Because I have, I believe my hair texture is 4A, 4B. And within the first year, my hair was actually locked. So my hair is a bit soft, but it's definitely a four type um, curl pattern that I do have. Um, it's not like coarse, coarse. It's, you know, like I says, a bit soft and stuff like that. And it took my hair about a year to like start looking like locks and such. So I would say if you have very coarse 4C hair, you can expect it to lock completely within a year. Um, but you can also expect the locking process to start from the three month um, period onwards. And also I did a video on how you can get your hair to lock faster and i will definitely go ahead and link that above as well as in the description bar below so make sure you check that out if you want your locks or your hair to lock faster all right so the next question i have here is have you been enjoying your loose natural hair ah you know what <laughs> all right when i got this question i literally felt like oh my god like you guys care about my loose natural hair? I know it's not many of you because I, I can see from the um, the views on my loose natural hair videos, like most of you guys are not really interested in that. But um, this one really made me feel good because you know, yes, I was a loose natural before, then I locked and then I'm a loose natural again and then I locked and then I'm a loose natural again. Um, yes, I have been enjoying my loose natural hair. Recently, I have been, you know, doing more protective styles on my hair because um, as you guys would have known, one of the reasons why I decided to end my lock journey was because of, you know, my scalp. I was having dry flaky scalp and it was just ridiculous and it felt like no matter what i was doing it's like i couldn't you know you know like i couldn't get rid of it even though there were times when it went away but it would always seem to come back around spring summertime so i really wanted to just get to the bottom of it and i have been learning so much about my loose natural hair that um pretty much now, when I eventually start my next lock journey, I know exactly what um, I need to do. Because this is one thing I need you guys to understand as well. And I've said this to so many people who ask me questions about starting their lock journey, etc. Is you have to first understand your hair. Whether you're starting your lock journey yourself or you're starting somebody else's lock journey, you have to understand your hair texture, your hair strand thickness, your hair density, also your scalp condition because all of that plays a major part. And since, um, you know, ending my lock journey, I have learned so much about my loose natural hair to the point where, as I mentioned, when it's time for me to start my next lock journey, I know exactly what I need to do. So anyway, to answer that question, yes, I have been enjoying my loose natural hair and I'm also enjoying, um, you know, switching up the styles and rocking these protective style as well. So 
yeah all right so the next question i'm gonna be answering for today is do you think you will ever get locks again and based off what i have said in my i'm um, answering the previous question yes i will have locks again but it won't be anytime soon because again i am learning about my loose natural hair and right now i'm enjoying my loose natural hair because before starting my lock journey my very first lock journey i did not really understand my loose natural hair right i really didn't understand it i didn't know how to care for it and whatever and the reason why i i had started my very first lock journey was because i didn't want to deal with my hair no more because i didn't understand it and i just wanted to start my locks and just leave my hair be and then obviously i ended that lock journey and i started this second one um and i started this second one and still didn't really understand my hair so this time around i'm understanding my hair and yeah by the time i start my third lock journey i will be ready to just ride the wave <laughs> Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you guys found today's video very helpful and if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week Sunday at 4pm, we will be right back here with another video.